Okay, 7.3, we're um, looking at triangles and learning how to classify them. There are two different ways that you can classify a triangle. So if it asks for the classification of a triangle, it'll clarify um, by angles or by sides or both. So this first triangle we have here, it has all acute angles, which means that it is an acute triangle. So it, all the angles are acute, so we label it as an acute triangle. I'm going to make the label for triangle because I don't have room to write the word out. If we have a triangle that has one right angle, it is a right triangle. These are really hard to memorize. And the third one, if it has one obtuse angle, it is an obtuse triangle. So if you understood your angles, it just carries over to triangles. Um, so the classifying by angles should be um, the simpler part of it for you. Okay, another way that we can um, classify triangles is by our, their sides. So when we have no congruent sides, that is a scalene triangle. When we have at least two congruent sides, it is an isosceles triangle. And three congruent sides is equilateral. One A, draw a triangle with one obtuse angle and no congruent sides. So we have one obtuse angle and then no congruent sides. So we know that because it has one obtuse angle, we know that it's an obtuse triangle. So that's classifi classifying it by angles. And then classifying it by sides, it has no congruent, which is scalene. So this is an obtuse scalene that we just created. Draw a triangle with one right angle and two congruent sides, then classify the triangle. So when we um, know that the sides are congruent, we do this mark on them to show that they're congruent. In a right angle, we always do that. So if it has a right angle, it is a right triangle. And two congruent sides means that it is isosceles. So this is a right isosceles triangle. 2A, classify the triangle on the house by its angles and by its sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at its angles and say, does it have right, right obtuse or are they all acute? And I um, believe this looks like it is an obtuse angle. So I'm going to say it's an obtuse triangle. And then when I look at the sides, I know that these markings right here, I'm going to do it in red actually so it stands out. These markings that I'm doing again in red, mean that those um, sides are congruent. So there are two congruent sides, which means it is isosceles. So it is an obtuse isosceles. Angles of a triangle, the sum of the measure of the angles of a triangle is 180. So we know that the angles inside of a triangle all add up to 180 every single time, no matter what. So whenever we have a missing angle, we can figure it out because we can make an equation to solve for that missing angle, knowing that they all add up to equal 180. So let's try it. Find the measure of angle Z, then classify the triangle by its angles and sides. So the first thing we do is we know that the measure of angle X, and I forgot my angle symbol, the measure of angle Y, and the measure of angle Z all equal 180 degrees. So the measure of angle X is 43 degrees. The measure of angle Y is 119. And we do not know the measure of angle Z, so we're going to leave a Z. And this equals 180. So to solve for Z, I take 43 plus 119, which is 162, plus Z equals 180. And to get Z by itself, I subtract 162 from both sides. And I'm left with Z equals 18 degrees. Then it asked us to go ahead and classify the triangle by its angles and sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have 18, 43, and 119. I'm going to ask myself, do I have a right? No. Are they all acute? No. I have an obtuse, so I know it's an obtuse triangle, which seems to be the theme for these notes. And since none of the angles are equal, I know that none of the sides are equal. So this is an obtuse scalene, which I think has been the answer on three problems. 
So that's just an accident, not on purpose. 3B, in triangle ABC, the measure of angle B equals 50, and the measure of angle C equals 80. What is the measure of angle A? So I'm going to do A plus 50 plus 80 equals 180. And I get A plus 130 equals 180. Subtract 130 from both sides. And A equals 50 degrees. And then I classify the triangle by its angles and sides. So I have 50, 80, and 50, which means that I have all acute angles. So it's an acute triangle. And two of them are the same. Um, so that makes it an isosceles. So acute isosceles.